A small release from Adobe, lots of bugs from Microsoft, but no zero days. Still a lot to talk about in the June 2023 patch report. Hello, everyone. It is Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at the Zero Day Initiative and our Chief Patch Wrangler. We've got a lot to talk about in today's patch report, and uh, let's go ahead and just jump right in and start talking about some Adobe bugs. So looking at the blog, we have four patches for Adobe, only 18 CVEs. Really, the only one here that's really interesting at all is the one for commerce. Lots of security feature bypass bugs in this. Uh, a dozen bugs for commerce. So if you're using that, especially since it involves money, definitely look at that one. The counts for uh, Microsoft are kind of all over the place. There's 69 new CVEs, but the total of 25 CVEs that are being listed in the security updates guide to go along with it. So 94 total, but only 69 are new. It's very confusing, I know. Let's just talk about what you care about. The first one is Exchange. Uh, we care about this one because, well, it's Exchange. And because this is actually a busted patch. Uh, this is from uh, my coworker, Piotr, whose last name I always butcher, so I don't say it. Um, but it actually is a patch evasion for something that was under active attack. So if you were thought you were under active attack and then you're patched and now you're safe, oh, you're not because the patch is not great. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but hopefully this patch will be sufficient. Uh, it's kind of funny. Microsoft said that all of their QA people were playing Starfield right now. I kind of believe that looking at this patch. Then we've got a SharePoint bug here. This is a great bug. It was one of three that was used at Pwn to Own Vancouver. This is the off bypass. Really slick, um, absolutely uh, exploitable because we saw it in action. So definitely test and deploy that one. Then we've got three PGM bugs here. That's Pragmatic General Multicast. It's not a default uh, configuration, but it's not an uncommon one either. This is the third month in a row we've had a CVSS 9.8 PGM bug, and now we've got three of them. We haven't seen any active exploitation yet, but considering what it would lead to, I, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, and then finally, this one should look familiar to you. It came out earlier this month. This is a Chrome bug that was actually an O-Day and being used in the wild. Um, patch June 2nd, but I wanted to bring it up here because Edge Chromium, of course, consumes it. Uh, lots of other Chromium web browsers will need to consume this as well. So if you're using Chrome or a Chromium-based uh, web browser, make sure that you update your stuff uh, to get this stuff. Uh, looking at the uh, chart here, you see six critical updates, whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of third-party stuff too. GitHub, uh, what was the other one? Autodesk uh, included in this. And these were CVEs that are previously released and now being incorporated into Microsoft products. Looking at the rest of the release, there's not a whole lot that's too interesting. There's all the Chromium bugs I talked about already. Uh, there's a lot of patches for .NET, .Work Framework in Visual Studio. So definitely whether it's RCE or Elevation of Privilege or DOS, uh, make sure you're getting all of these patches uh, because there's a lot of interesting stuff being fixed there. Other exchange bugs getting fixed um, that aren't quite as interesting, but still you're looking at code execution, um, especially stuff that's leading to RCE via PowerShell. That, that, that's cool, I like it, like it a lot as an attacker, as a defender. And hey, look, just let me say it again, if you're running Exchange on-prem, stop it. Uh, take it offline, get O365, you're much better off. Very few scenarios where Exchange on-prem still makes sense today, so just keep that in mind. Uh, a few security feature bypass bugs, uh, mainly in SMB that are a little interesting, nothing outstanding. A lot of spoofing bugs this month, uh, including some in Azure does DevOps server, kind of interesting, but nothing really breaking. Some SharePoint uh, spoofing bugs, and those usually manifest as cross-site scripting. There is a cross-site scripting bug here for Dynamics as well. Uh, some interesting, slightly information disclosure bugs, mostly it's random memory. The DHCP server one could allow you to learn the IP address pool. There's lots of ways to do that. Uh, the one in Edge is kind of interesting, but keeps you in the sandbox, so nothing surprising there. Some DOS bugs, but not a whole lot of information on those, so not a whole lot to say about that, other than the crypto API ones do sound a little interesting, uh, but not a lot of definition. So anyway, that is pretty much it. That wraps up. And that is the month of June from a patch report uh, perspective. So we are going to, I know it's a busy time of year for a lot of people, but do make sure that you apply these updates, even though there's no active attacks, there's still a lot of good bugs in here that could lead to active attacks in the future. So patch, 
then go on vacation. That's what I plan on doing. And uh, I will be back July 11th, which is Nest Patch Tuesday. And we'll be here with all of the latest and greatest patches from Adobe, Microsoft, and beyond. Until then, stay safe, happy patching, and may all your reboots be smooth and clean.